A couple of weeks ago, I hosted my very first live stream where we built a HR analytics dashboard from scratch. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. And after this live stream, I got this really interesting comment saying that I should not be using shapes, but instead using background images. So in this video, I want to show you how you can create your own Power BI backgrounds using PowerPoint. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let me show you the report that we created during our live stream. So here we have the HR demo file that I have actually available to download for you if you want to see it for yourself. Um, each page has different focus uh, in terms of um, analysis. So we have a headcount page, uh, starters and levers and turnover. Uh, so very basic HR analytics kind of stuff. The idea is to show a lot of different types of analytics for each page without being too unfamiliar against each other. So you'll see that although we have a starters uh, page, the layout of it would not be too dissimilar from let's say the headcount page where you would have the filters on the left you would have the cards on the top and then you would have your visuals in the middle. And how we've organized this so far is by putting all of these visuals into kind of logical containers and we did that through shapes. So if I go to view and show up the selection pane here, you can see that we have a couple of different shapes that we have created. So if I hide it, you'll see which one it is for. And what they do is it kind of guides the users in terms of where your visual is. So if it's part of your kind of filter um, uh, filter section of your reports, or maybe it's part of your summary, or maybe it's part of your, your main content. And if you use a few shapes like what I did here, it normally wouldn't be a problem. But the thing is, the more you add in terms of visuals on your page, it actually adds to the number of items that Power BI has to load every single time you open this report. So it kind of impacts your query performance. And one of the ways that you can do to avoid having to create multiple shapes in your Power BI report is to actually weave them into a page background. So let me show you how you can do that. If I open up a PowerPoint here, you can easily create one from scratch from here. So let's create a new page here. So we want to try to mimic what we currently have, um, but we want to add a bit more color into our report, right? So let's start by just drawing some colors here. So let's maybe put in some shapes here. Let's remove the outline maybe and let's change the color into something else and i'll put another shape just to add a different color at the bottom here okay and i will add those shapes that we we're normally creating in Power BI, but instead we want to put it in the page, page background. So let's see how much we can mimic. Um, we just change the shape fill. We'll put the shadow and no outline. All right, so we have the filter pane. We want to add the kind of summary pane where we have all of our cards. And we want to have the same one for the main area where we have all of our graphs. So that's a pretty quick way to create page backgrounds for your report, right? So, so now that we've created this page background in PowerPoint, what we wanna do is actually we wanna try to save this as a PNG file. So if I put it on my desktop, we'll name it page backgrounds and we will export it as a PNG from here. Let's 
say just this one. And now you will see that we have that as a as an image file. So now what we can do now that we have that is we can go back to our report. Let's hide the selection pane here. You want to click on the visualizations pane, click on anywhere in your report, just so that you don't have any other um, any other cards selected, any other visuals. Under formats, you want to go to page background, add an image, and let's add that image that we created. Set the transparency to zero. And now you will see that you have that image that we created in PowerPoint as your background for your report. You might have to just do a bit of adjusting just so that your, um, your visuals fit into the uh, the background itself but for the most part you kind of have them already set up right so let's let's try start doing that so um, first let's try to remove those shapes that we've created so we can mm, we can remove this one so we'll just hide them for now and let's adjust these And there you have it. So now you have a page background that kind of replaces your shapes in terms of, you know, logically organizing your visuals without having to have multiple shapes within Power BI. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped you understand how easy it is to create your own page backgrounds for Power BI within PowerPoint. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section box below. If you want to download the file that I used for this demo, I'll leave a download link in the description box as well. Leave a like on this video if it helped you. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that I included in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching, guys. See you again on the next one.